An event is recorded in this week's portion, Toldot, which I think serves as a metaphor for how we can conduct our lives today. We are told that our patriarch Isaac and Rebekah had to leave the land of Israel for a short period of time to escape a famine. And so instead of going down to Egypt like his parents did, they went to the neighboring territory of Gerar, which is today along the Mediterranean coast, the southern Mediterranean coast of Israel. And they settled there, they found food, <clears throat> and then they were digging wells. We are told that uh, first Isaac ha and his servants looked for the wells that his father had dug that had since been stopped up by the Philistines. So he unstopped those wells, and then the Philistines uh, battled with Isaac and his servants over those same wells. So Isaac left and found new wells, and they fought over those. And finally, he found a new set of wells that he dug, and he was able to keep those. So on the surface, this could just be a story of Isaac and his servants' tenacity, uh, showing their determination to, for survival and what they were willing to do in order to survive. It didn't matter so much to fight, rather to find something new on their own. That could be one lesson. A deeper lesson could be, why is it that Isaac chose his father's wells first to dig? And that, I think, is the broader question, the metaphor for our lives today. What path do we choose in our lifetime? On the one hand, we might choose a familiar path, the path that was shown to us by our parents, by our family. It, it is a path of security and comfort, a path that we know very well. But will that be the path that will be successful for us, That a path that will uh, bode for prosperity and uh, blessing for our future? Or might we want to take the chance and face the challenge of blazing a new path on our own. Perhaps our portion is telling us, though, that there might be blessing in the known, there might be even more blessing in the unknown, as long as we have the courage to blaze that path. A fascinating lesson from the portion Toldot. Shabbat Shalom.